for tall vessel like this inlet or outlet line from vessel top is usually like this when fluid temperature through the pipeline is close to ambient temperature and we need to provide one fixed support like this from vessel with pad close to nozzle from the vessel using pad through bracket this support will take entire vertical load of the pipeline and minimum load will be transferred to the vessel nozzle and at lower level of vessel we should provide another bracket from vessel and we should provide guiding support this support is resting support with stop at all direction and this support will take vertical load of the entire line and minimum load will be transmitted to the vessel nozzle and at bottom position one guiding type support from bracket using pad from vessel cell this type of supporting arrangement and pipe routing should be done for the line when operating temperature of the fluid is close to ambient temperature since the fluid temperature is close to ambient temperature we need not to analyze the line that means we need not to do stress analysis of the line but when the line size is bigger say 24 inch or 36 inch or 48 inch then we can analyze the line up to this fixed point we need not to analyze the line up to the nozzle we should analyze the line up to the fixed point so that we will get correct load at fixed point for designing of this bracket when operating temperature of the fluid is higher than ambient then pipeline expands vertically also vessel expands vertically similarly when fluid temperature is lower compared to ambient temperature then this pipeline contracts vertically and vessel also contracts vertically so we normally think that there will not be any differential movement at vessel top or there will not be any excessive stress in the pipeline and excessive load in the vessel nozzle so we think that we can provide this type of supporting arrangement for pipeline having higher temperature and lower temperature but this philosophy does not work for tall vertical vessel and column piping because during start up pipeline expands or contracts quickly compared to vessel so during start up or shut down there will be differential thermal expansion between pipeline and vessel nozzle and huge stress will be developed in the pipeline and huge forces and moments will be developed in vessel nozzle also to compensate this differential expansion we need to provide one loop at vessel top like this
and then this support should be guiding support this will be guiding and this bottom support will be fixed support this will be changed to fixed support so that differential expansion or contraction of the pipeline with respect to vessel nozzle will be taken care by the loop if the height of the vessel or column is too high or if the differential temperature is very high then maybe we will have to provide another loop like this and then another fixed point somewhere here so that pipeline routing will be like this then like this then like this then like this so this loop works in between these two fixed point supports and this loop works in between this fixed point and this anchor support this is fixed support depending on vessel height maybe we will have to provide another guiding support somewhere here so when operating temperature of the vessel inlet line is high or low compared to ambient temperature we should do stress analysis of the line up to vessel nozzle considering two transient conditions number 1 is start up condition that means pipeline temperature is high or low while vessel is at ambient temperature that means vessel nozzle does not have any vertical movement and number 2 is shutdown condition that means vessel is at high or low temperature having vertical movement of nozzle but the pipeline is at ambient temperature now you can see one tall vertical vessel from bottom to top along with pipe lines this vertical vessel will be used for storing cold liquid these are the piping loops at vessel top for compensating contraction of pipelines this is one guide support from vessel cell then other guide supports and finally at bottom fixed support or anchor support has been provided with plate welded to pipe 